Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the PYA Changemaker Series. My name is Ria. I am your host, and this week's Changemaker is Director Ivan Salas. He is from EDES. Uh, it is a naval architecture and design firm in Palma de Mallorca. How are you? Hi, Ria. Thanks. Very well, thanks. Yourself? Good, good. Well, you've just gotten off the back of a, a very successful uh, international boat show. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. It's been, yeah, it's been a pleasure to 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 meet the people again and to and to connect. Absolutely. Well, and that's ironically enough where we met. <laughs> you were brought to <laughs> exactly. my attention by another yacht designer. Now, what is it that makes you and sets you apart? You are making great strides in in your design work towards more sustainable future. Tell us a little bit about that and about your company. Okay. Um, I think uh, the added value which which we bring uh, towards the design scene is that uh, our experience lies with what we've done. So we, I mean, we've worked for technical offices in the past. We've been in the yacht building, at the shipyard, and on the refits, on the new builds. So what eight eight years ago when we established the company, we we decided to put all of this together in in a company and just offer designs which integrate that engineering expertise, that building expertise, that operating a yacht expertise, and, and, and you know and put it together on, on design because um, that's for us the start of everything. So we, we, yeah, we bring all that expertise, all that added experience into the actual design, which is the first step of, of any yacht build or any, or any refit or, or any, or any new project, basically. Well, tell me about, you know, one of the things that really drew me to you was that you are working um, towards nuclear, and of course, that word, you know, sort of sets off alarm bells straight across the planet, but people don't really understand it when you talk about nuclear energy. Explain. Yeah, it's, it really is a very dramatic word. Um, it, for us, I think the maritime industry in general is a very heavy consumer of energy. It, it requires energy to, to move large volumes. Uh, yachts displace thousands and thousands of tons. Um, they consume thousands and thousands of tons of fuel as well. So if you look around, the only truly sustainable future for the maritime industry lies in this type of, of, of energy, you know, uh, production system. There's also, um, we're not saying that's the only technology available, um, but we are, we are saying that when you look at the whole spectrum from manufacturing energy or fuels, to transporting fuels, to integrating these on ships, you know, this is possibly the one that has uh, a brighter future. But uh, history has has really made a massive damage on the development of on the development of this technology. I mean, the the projects which we are involved uh, in, uh, which are in the in the process of developing uh, prototype reactors, uh, these reactors are. Uh, are very safe. They have, I think it's a two or three percent uh, residue after 25 years of use. Um, these reactors are, you know, they, they, they are simple as they have a release valve. They don't have high pressures. They can, it's very, they're very safe systems and they cannot be weaponized, you know, because it's very difficult to get access to the radioactive material in, in its liquid form, you know. Um, so if you take out the, the weaponization and you take and you take out the the risk factor, you end up with a beautiful, sustainable technology, um, largely available nowadays on Earth. You know, so so th this is what we're aiming for. Um, and uh, we know it's a long road. We need to not only educate uh, the industry, and we need to develop the technology together with the partners. Um, we need to integrate these onto the ships. We work. We need to work with international organizations. We need to work with the with the politics of each country. And, uh, but you have to start somewhere. This has been ongoing for some time now. And, and we are in the middle of it, basically. And, and we're trying to, to, to make it happen to you. Know? Now, let me ask you, what kind of strides are being made in solar, in hydro, um, you know, and, and other forms of sustainable energy? Uh, I think massive. Um, I think there are companies uh, which are really focused. We've seen the cruise, the cruise uh, industry adapting the the propulsion systems to to LNGs and dual fuels. So I think there's a there's a massive 
step, positive step towards the reduction of emissions, which is, is super important. Um, and now uh, the question is, what's next step, you know? Um, and I think it comes into a mixture of things, you know, as in how you operate your vessel, what technology you implement. Um, uh, and yeah, yeah, I think you have to add all of these components together to end up towards a sustainable solution nowadays. You know, um, it's not only about integrating hydrogen, it's where does the hydrogen come from, how you transport it to the ship, and what is the impact on the volume that it has in the ship. So there's many factors on the design and the operational side which need to come into, into interplay, basically. But I think there's been some huge steps um, in many aspects, and I think it, we just need to keep developing new projects, integrating new new technologies, learn from them and continue the process. Absolutely. Do you think if we continue the process with all these different types of, of fuel that we could possibly see an end to the need for fossil fuels in the future? Uh, absolutely. And I mean, maybe not. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, fossil fuels. Absolutely. I think uh, very soon we're going to see synthetic fuels come into the into the industry. We're going to see uh, very intelligent fuels, which can actually be created uh, in on land uh, in a sustainable manner. So I think that will be the first step towards reducing the consumption of, of fossil fuels. Um, so yeah, I think I think we we're getting there, but I think uh, there's there's still a a very uh, a lot of hard work left to reach to reach our goals, basically. So if you were to be a betting man, how long in the future do you think it's going to take before we actually see that? Well, it's, it's, it's super difficult to answer that. Um, I think uh, the, the last few years has been very impactful because it's been a shift on our minds towards which has had a consequence on the maritime industry. Um, for example, the cruise line industry has, has suffered significantly, but that has made us change our consciousness and how, how we how we want to to travel in the future so so that's had a very big impact and has reduced significantly already the emissions caused by a specific uh, sector of the industry so yeah I think there's goals there's uh, 2030 goals uh, on the emissions there's already certain regions in the world which you cannot access unless you comply with certain regulations so I think that they are they are already goals achieved but to be completely zero um, uh, emission, well, completely emissions free and sustainable, I think we look in, a, a, you know, a 10, 10, 15 years before we can, we can, you know, tap ourselves on the shoulder and say, we're not contaminating, you know? Well, you know what, even 10 or 15 years, for me, that that's an exciting goal. And it's good to see that we are looking towards that because if we had asked, if I had asked that same question a mere three or four years ago, um, you would there would have been no end in sight essentially because we exactly. hadn't made the strides that we've made in the past few years so it's really exciting to see i've got to say thank you ever so much for um your information and we're going to make sure to put your website down below this interview when we're done uh, just in case anybody wants to get in touch with you and see what kind of strides you're making and and what the future looks like for um yeah for yachting in general perfect thank you very much Bria. Thank you. Once again, you've been listening to Director Ivan Salas. Uh, he is with edis.com. He's naval architecture and design firm. So uh, yeah, it's been, it's been very informative for me as well. Uh, you've been watching another edition of Changemakers. My name is Ria. I am your host. We'll see you again next time.